வெல்கம் டு தயா கெமிஸ்ட்ரி யூடியூப் சேனல் கர்நாடகா செட் டூ தௌசண்ட் தேர்ட்டீன் கொஷின் வித் டீடைல்டு எக்ஸ்பிளனேட்டிவ் ஆன்சர்ஸ் பேப்பர் டூ கெமிக்கல் சயின்ஸ் கொஷின் நம்பர் ஒன் த பாயிண்ட் குரூப் ஆஃப் த சிமெட்ரி எக்ஸிஓஎஃப்ஓர் எஸ் சி இன் ஜேனான் காம்பவுண்ட் தெர் வாஸ் த அவுட்டர் ஷெல் த valence electron it contains eight valence electron in which it is among this eight valence electron two valence electron is filled by one oxygen atom and four valence electron by four fluorine atom four fluorine atom and it has one lone pair of electron okay XeO F4 contains a square pyramidal structure so total there is a one lone pair there is one lone pair and it has 1 2 3 4 5 5 bond pair bp bond pair so totally six pair six pair hence the hybridization is sp3 d2 six pairs and the geometry is square pyramidal it's not octahedral the geometry is expected to be square pyramidal due to the geometry is square pyramidal and you will, there was no dihedral angle and the d3h and d4h uh, these two options are ruled out uh, it, this is not an ammonia like structure hence it is not a c3v structure it's a having c4v structure it's a square pyramidal answer is c4v point group question number 2 the square of the wave function in quantum mechanics uh, rep- represents that is uh, you are giving the wave function the electron in an atom is represented by a f- wave function psi and what they are asking is what is the square of the wave function that is psi into psi star is equal to psi square what's this psi square represents it's a square of wave function represents the probability of finding the electron at various places in the given region that is one region to another region hence probability of finding electron in different region is different this is accordance with the uncertainty principle hence this psi square does not uh, tells you the state of the system it does not uh, tells the shape of the system and uh, not with the energy of the system it tells the probability of finding the electron in a system hence answer c is correct question number 3 the correct ground state configuration of chromium is chromium is electronic uh, electronic configuration atomic number is 24 electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 4p6 is was not a, a 3d a 6 a 4s0 no this configuration was n- not given it's a 3d5 instead of uh, getting 3d6 the d orbital is off field 3d5 and 4s1 one electron will be uh, shifted here 3d5 4s1 because the off field and the full field orbitals are more stable here d orbital is off field and the s orbital is off field these two are more stable configuration hence answer b is correct and uh, 3d4 this is not an off field orbital and uh, this was not the correct configuration and this was not the question number 4 the crystal structure of diamond is less closely packed than that of copper because the cc bonds are shorter than cu cu bonds directional in nature non directional in nature only partially covalent there are four options were given let us take the structure of diamond you know all the structure of diamond has sp3 hybridization and has uh, carbon has uh, four valence electron and has a tetrahedral geometry it is tetrahedral co- uh, coordinated having 
this uh, diamond has low packing fraction so low packing fraction whereas you take the uh, compounds of uh, gold silver copper you take these uh, compounds which has fcc structure face centered cubic structure having 12 neighbors where the frac packing fraction is higher when compared to uh, diamond due to directional in nature only the carbon carbon bond in diamond is closely packed question number 5 the dipole moment of hbr has been uh, asked and the interatomic spacing is 1.41 the dipole moment was given they are asking the percentage of ionic character so is a formula for percentage of ionic character is first 0.78 is a dipole moment divided by 4.803 that is the charge of the electron into 1.41 the uh, entire atomic space into 100 it is uh, approximately equal to 11.73 hence answer a is correct question number 6 match the following four compounds were given icl2 minus brf2 plus clf4 minus alcl4 minus what is the you have to match the correct structure first you take uh, icl2 minus you take uh, icl2 minus the iodine has a two bonding pair chlorine and a three lone pair so it's a, a three lone pair plus two bond pair so the it is a five pair and the compound uh, seems to be linear if you take uh, br f plus 2 br f2 plus the compound is angular if you take cl f4 minus is a square planar structure you said al cl 4 minus it is a perfect tetrahedral structure hence on matching we will get option c a is a linear question number 7 the dark purple color of kmno4 is due to you see in dark purple color of kmno4 is uh, due to not due to the Uh, d electrons that is, uh, is actually not due to the dd transition the dd transition was not occurring in kmno4 option a was ruled out since uh, manganese in this compound has no d electron there was no d electron it arises from the charge transfer transition answer is c1 uh, charge transfer transition where the oxygen oxygen in kmno4 Uh, donates the ligand oxygen donates the electron to the metal central metal atom manganese hence this is called ligand to metal charge transfer ligand to metal charge transfer It's due to option c is correct question number 8 the crystal field splitting energy of chromium 3 plus ion in octahedral field increases they are given four ligands iodine water ammonia cyanide they are in the order you have to know the uh, spectrochemical series for this you have to know the spectrochemical series in spectrochemical series you know the cyanide cyanide ion is a very strong ligand which is uh, greater than ammonia is greater than water then iodine iodine due to larger size having uh, very less stable hence the crystal field splitting of chromium 3 plus ion in octahedral field increases in the following order this was the order the given the order hence answer first one is correct a is correct element crystallizes both face centered cubic fcc and bcc okay 
if the density of the element in the two forms is the same the density is same the ratio of unit cell length of fcc and bcc lattice you have to find the ratio you have to find the ratio what is the ratio they are asking listen now you know that generally density equal to mass by volume you all know this density equal to mass by volume for a unit cell here uh, in uh, solid state for an unit cell you take uh, for unit cell volume volume can be given as a3 this is side side is a a cube volume is given as a cube okay for the same unit cell the mass is given as the mass will be uh, given as molecular weight into atomic number atomic number divided by avogadro number n n is the avogadro number m is the molecular weight and z is the atomic number so density is equal to m z divided by n into a cube this was the formula for density of a unit cell okay now you leave this uh, mass uh, avogadro number for you can take uh, for fcc for fcc you take z1 by a cube is for uh, fcc which is equal to z2 by a cube for bcc this was the it was given and you know for uh, fcc z1 is equal to 4 and z2 that is bcc z2 is equal to 2 hence 4 by a cube fcc is equal to 2 by a cube bcc which is equal to Two equal to A Q F C C A Q B C C is a four by two, four by two is two, and hence. a fcc what they are asking is the ratio of unit length of ratio of unit length of fcc this is a ratio into bcc this was this is they are asking so a into bcc you take that uh, cube that side so you will get 1 by 3 hence option a is correct Hence the ratio is 2 into 2 power 1 by 3. Question number 10. Example of a metal cluster. Four compounds were given. Among these four compounds, which is a metal cluster? You have to identify the metal cluster. So what is metal cluster? A metal cluster compound is one in which the metal atom are linked directly to one another. First you take Fe2CO9, here one Fe having a 3 CO terminal bond and another Fe having 3 uh, CO terminal bond and 3 bridged CO bond, okay. In a compound D CO2CO8 cobalt cobalt was 
directly linked and there was no bridging CO. In case of uh, you take compound MN2 CO10 here it is MN2 CO10 MN2 CO10 also there was uh, 4 one, one manganese is coordinated with 4 carbonyl terminal carbonyl another manganese uh, coordinated with 4 terminal carbonyl if we take the compound Fe3CO12 which contains 3 Fe3 ion atom you see each ion atom has 3 terminal carbon and 2 bridged carbon hence the cluster compound it is a cluster compound is Fe3CO12 here answer is B Fe3CO12 is the metal cluster in Fe3CO12 is different with the two bridging CO ligands resulting in C2V point group 18 electron count is 48 3 into 8 plus 12 into 2 hence uh, 3 metal metal bond 6 electrons are needed to fulfill the requirement of 3 metal centers that is 54 electron hence Fe3CO12 is the metal cluster answer B is correct we will meet in the next video part 2 thank you